with two league titles, eight FA Cups, three League Cups, one European Cup Winners Cup and two UEFA Cups, Tottenham Hotspur are one of the most successful clubs in the history of English football. But having witnessed only one piece of silverware since the English Premier League began in 1992, the fans at White Hart Lane have suffered a relatively fallow period in recent years. The memories of past glories are a spur in this part of North London. We get reminded, <laughs> we definitely get reminded, but um, obviously speaking to fans and that, you know, you can, you can sense that the fans just, they, they just, they obviously they want the glory days back and, you know, Tottenham over the years, they were, they were great players, you know, um, and, you know, for, to be a part of it, you know, to, if we achieve something good this season, to be a part of it, for me, it would be, it'd be brilliant. Spurs have always been considered one of the big five clubs in English football, and the belief in the dressing room is that this could be a special year at White Hart Lane. Spurs are sixth at present and are well placed to make a push for a lucrative Champions League spot next season. Obviously, you speak to the lads and, that, and everyone, everyone knows that you know. Again, we've got we've got good players, we've got a strong squad and uh, a young squad, so um, it's great. But um, I think everyone believes that we can we can really push on this season and, and achieve something. Jermaine Defoe is one of five Spurs players in the current England squad. After the 3-2 defeat of Argentina in Geneva two weeks ago, there's a belief that England have a real chance of lifting the World Cup in Germany next year, and Tottenham are benefiting from this optimism. Manager Martin Yoll has based his team on this young English spine. You need a winning mentality, you need young players as well, you need uh, ambitious players, and I think that is what we tried to do last year. Maybe sometimes we look too young. Paul Robinson is mature now because he's a number one. Ledley King is getting better and better. Uh, Carrick is, is you know, uh, getting more complete every week. The foe is a finisher, so you have to give them you know, supply. And if we can improve that, you know, I think we can go all the way. I think for the club, for Tottenham, you know, it's, it's great. You know, um, you know, it shows that you know we're good enough to get an England squad. You know, um, that's special. But um, obviously, we can try and you know help Tottenham. You know, um, get back to them glory days. Wayne Rooney and Michael Owen may be keeping Defoe out of the starting lineup with the national side, but training with that calibre of player can only help his development. Good news for Martin Yoll. The Spurs quintet are soaking up their education. When you go over England, you can you can learn off a lot of players. Not only the strikers, but the midfielders and the way they train and. You know, for instance, Frank Lampard, you know, um, in training, quite, he seems to finish like a forward, so people like Frank Lampard, you can learn off him, so um, that's what you can always learn. Defoe is a natural finisher. His 13 goals in 11 games whilst on loan at Bournemouth in 2000 remains a Football League record. He was Spurs' top scorer last season with 23 goals and will be looking to add to his three so far in this campaign at High Flying Wigan on Saturday. I suppose everyone, everyone's surprised how, uh, how, Wigan have, how Wigan have done, but um, when you watch them and you see how hard they work for each other, then, then it's, you know, it's just so great. And I think um, a lot of teams can learn from that, you know, because I think if you work hard together as a team, you know, then you can, you can definitely achieve things and you know, they've done so well and it would be nice if they, if they keep doing well. But if we're above <laughs> Defoe has already experienced the pain of relegation and has yet to win a trophy. He's enjoying the harmonious atmosphere that Martin Yoll has created at White Hart Lane. And if Spurs keep hitting the right notes, then success could be the chorus line. Hopefully the players that have come in they can help us, help us on the way. You know, um, this season you know, it's a massive season for us. And uh, I think if we can get new at this season, you know, it'll, it'll be great. Will Tottenham continue that European push at Wigan this weekend? From Dominic Frisby, me Marcus Buckland and Twinkle Toes of Tottenham, goodbye.